I was in shock and denial. I kept saying that he didn't have cancer, that he had an infection or something, and that the doctors were wrong. He felt pretty horrible all the time. Um, however, a kid that has to go through such intense chemo, Caden did very well. My stepmom saw them coming down the hallway, and typically some, somebody like that wouldn't come into a three-year-old's room. I mean, because he's not going to interact with them or really care. Uh, he wasn't, I don't think he was impressed. Uh, most kids, when they meet us, they oh my gosh, they're so tall, oh my gosh, they're so big, yeah, I don't want to do this. Like, they're really shy, but he wasn't shy, he wasn't really sleepy at first. I think he just woke up from a nap, so he was kind of, you know, had the sleepy eyes, crusting his eyes, still thing going on. And he wasn't speaking too much, because I think we were, Will and I were probably the tallest guys he's ever seen in his life. And uh, when we finally got him to come out of his shell, he just uh, showed his personality, showed his great imagination. You know, Caden was showing them their muscles and telling them that he couldn't beat, you know, he could beat them up because they weren't as big as him. If you really want to make a connection with a kid like that, you have to be consistent. So I was trying to, you know, see him at least once a week. And just hanging out with him, uh, was telling him what he was doing at home or how his week was going. Uh, I was telling him about, you know, I had a few surgeries, so I said, we talk, we talk about that. Uh, I guess it was just like a friend. He told you that we went and ate ice cream one day, and Caden is just like taking a bite, and he like just shoves it right in Will's mouth. Like, and Will's like, oh, okay. You know, they're just like sharing spoons. <laughs> like, that's just like how it, it is, you know, with Will and him. They got, they got, they have corn candy ice cream. Did you share with Will? Oh, are you bad? Uh, the fact that he called, me, he called me his big brother was really uh, you know, meaningful to me because that meant that he recognized me as somebody that was consistent in his life. He really could be his big brother. They, they just have that special bond and the playtime that they have together. They, they tease each other, they torment each other, but then you know they hug each other and, and he holds him. When he leaves the hospital, Will holds him through the whole hospital. and. It's just, it's really cute to see such a big guy with little Caden. I'm as tall. As tall as who? Tall as Will. His birthday was probably the biggest moment because I'd never seen him being that happy. He, he was so excited. Uh, I dressed up, I don't usually dress up, but I dressed up for his birthday. That was Ninja Turtle. Birthday party, it was pretty funny because he dressed up as a Ninja Turtle. And he just started playing with all the kids right off the bat. They were basically beating him up. And um, he, Caden asked Will to help him open all of his presents. He didn't even want his mom. It just, it was, I don't know. <laughs> so Will opened up all the presents with him. And you can just tell they have a very special bond. It was a present. It was presents that I had to open. And, and look at it. And look at it. Will just has a heart for kids. He really loves kids in whatever si uh, situation. Whenever we're around kids, he just is like a magnet to them. He just loves being around, putting smile on their faces, playing around. I've, I've, I've been around. Uh, I grew up in Africa, and my, both my parents are from Africa, so I've, I've seen things, and I know how much uh, impact I can have on people. Um, and I really, I really try to do more than just you know being a basketball player. And, uh, I really want to be somebody that we're going to be remembered for what he did off the court as well. So that's really what's driving me to, to do this thing. When they would come to see him, we, we only allowed minimal people in the room, Caden's demeanor would change. He would definitely get happy and then when they would leave, you could tell he would, you know, be a little bit sad. I want him to come to a game. I want him to come to a game. I want him to be able to go to uh, the locker room and just like hang out with me. Uh, being out there giving us high five, uh, watching us warm up and stuff like that. And then hopefully I can actually like see him in the stands as I'm playing, you know, I'm really excited for that. Every time he leaves, I give him a thumb down. Every time I lose, give me a thumb down. And when I win, what do you mean when I win? Every time you win, I do. Good. You know, we've been, been through a lot with him and I saw him when he was not at his best. And just him being at the game was really, really special. So he's got so much better. And uh, now like, he has his uh, going back now. 
and uh, he's went around pretty good. It didn't affect him. He just kept pushing on, and he's just the strongest thing I've ever seen. So he's just, he really is just a tough guy. He's just strong. Like, I've seen him uh, get some shots. Uh, they were, I guess, doing some stuff to him, and uh, he was just still the same, smiling, talking. Uh, I never would really have seen him down at all. He can do that's real. That's real life, man. It's just a basketball game. I'm not saying I don't care about basketball. That's not what I'm saying. But it's much more than that. And uh, this is real life stuff. Like losing a kid, losing a basketball game. Come on now, you know. You Learned how to be tough in the moment and how to just enjoy life. You know, just a simple walk outside means everything to us now. We spent so many months in the hospital not being able to do that. Um, I learned how to survive. I've watched him survive through the toughest times. And no matter what happens in life, I think I can survive because of him. He still lives life to the fullest as a, as a little three-year-old and is still very excited every single day. It means a lot because uh, I think we all go through a lot as, you know, to be student athlete here, just a student, you know, you think that you so busy, you think that you have so much work to do, you have no time for nothing, you're tired, and we complain a lot. And uh, I tend to complain a lot sometimes. And when I think about what his family and himself went through, you know, almost losing him, uh, and him always be happy. Whenever I see him, he was always happy and excited. And uh, I was like, man, I mean, I just want to be like that, you know? The message that we would like to send to everyone is to keep on pushing, keep trying to survive. You know, you, you got to have a positive attitude and, and just have a positive outlook on life. That's what kept us going. We weren't going to let cancer bring us down. He actually gave me that little boost, you know, to keep, keep on going. It can inspire a lot of people. I think if you actually sit down and hang out with him, you'll be like, man, this kid is amazing. Uh, he's only four years old and this kid is amazing. And he's just a fighter, man. Like, he, he fight, he fight his butt off. I would definitely thank Will for being there for us. Just thank you and God bless you. You're, you really are a saint. I'd also like to thank Caden's bone marrow transplant donor. We don't know who you are, but hopefully we will soon. And so far you've saved my little boy's life. Thank you. He's in remission um, after his bone marrow transplant. We just have to keep him there for five years of March 22nd. And five years from then, he will be considered cured of cancer. That'll be the best day ever.